guys, Bombbuster72 back again. So at the end of last year, Mike from Fremont Knives sent me a Farson tool to take a look at, and I thought it was a very unique knife. I, I don't even know if you would call it a knife. It, it's, um, it's a very unique shape. I'll put a link up here to that review, but um, he sent me something else, and I think we should take a look at that. So if you can't tell, it's raining out here. And uh, first thing we got here is some literature. That is the Fremont Knives Farson tool right there on the front. So it's raining, so I don't want to leave that out here too much. Let's just take a quick look here. It's just a, it's a list of uh, some of their other knives. But that isn't what we're interested in. We're interested in this right here. And this is the Fremont Knives Farson Hatchet. So right off the bat, I'm seeing something that I like. If you take a look at that review on the Farson tool, the, one of my biggest complaints was the sheath. It was really, it wasn't up to the same standard as the blade was. It, it was really high quality blade, really sharp, very nicely done. And then the sheath was, seemed almost an afterthought. But I can see right off the bat, we've got a snap instead of Velcro. And I can see that it's riveted down. So. I already, off the bat, you can tell that this is much higher quality. And another thing I'm noticing here is they've lined it with plastic, which is another big thing that I didn't like about the Farson tool sheath was I was always worried that I was going to slice it open because it really wasn't lined with anything. It was just really flimsy, and this is a whole lot better. So let's take a look at this hatchet, which it almost has a very cleaver type design to it it looks like you can you can definitely see that it's reminiscent of the farson tool it has a a little bit less of an angle right here it's a 90 degree instead of coming back on itself so i really like that for a for a hatchet that makes sense it's, looks like it's probably pretty close to a quarter inch thick at the the base here it does taper it looks like a little bit and definitely on the blade edge here it tapers. It, uh, it does look like it has more of a wedge, which would be really good for splitting, I guess. Um, if, if you're chopping and you're trying to split with this edge, it might bind up where this looks like it might work a little bit better. I really like the, the wrapping of the parachute cord. It's, it's pretty comfortable, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I, if I unwrap that, I would never get it back on there. I can tell you that right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems pretty decent. I, I don't think this one is stainless steel because uh, it has some sort of that titanium nitride type coating on it. And they usually don't do that with stainless. I guess you could. It looks like it's uh, really well done. And yes, it is very, very sharp. So anyway, this is the first look of the Fremont Knives Farson Hatchet. Be on the lookout for a further review and test of this. Once I get a chance, I'm going to actually run this through some paces. Till next time, take care and be safe.